Hi guys! So in this video I wanted to show you my February favorites, so here goes. First off, this um, mascara that I used in my $15 makeup challenge. It is from MUA, a real lash volume and lengthening mascara in black brown. This is $3 on the MUA website. I couldn't find it the last time I was in there. It has a rounded kind of tip on the end. It makes it a lot easier to reach every single lash. It's a little bit of a drier consistency, which I also love. It doesn't have any fallout throughout the day and it's really easy to take off. The weird thing about this is that when you take it off, it kind of crumbles up into the little black dots. Like it doesn't come off as one black brown shadow on your cotton pad. It's just a lot of little black dots, which is kind of weird. And I think maybe it's my favorite everyday mascara I've tried so far. Then I got the NYX Taupe uh, blush and this I just used to contour. It's an amazing contour color for people with really pale skin. This is how it looks like. You can barely see it, but it's, it's just great, I think, to use as a contour color. I got these e.l.f. lash curlers. My last pair of eyelash curlers was the only ones I have ever tried, and I thought that they were good. I thought that they worked until I tried out this one. And this has literally opened my eyes. It's just shown me how an eyelash curler is supposed to perform. It's just really easy to hold and I think, think you can um, switch out these rubber pads and it get, just captures all of the lashes really easily and just does the job so it's good. This one, the Sumita Beauty Brow Set, I got at my last, in my last glossy box, I, or I didn't understand what it was used for at first, but um, it's just a clear brow waxy thing that I started using it after I was finished with my brows, just to kind of set my brows, um, and it has really worked. My brows are staying on in place and it's just really a really nice product. This Declior Aroma White Plus C Brightening Cleansing Foam. I've used this for a while now and it's just an amazing product. I wouldn't recommend to use it in the eyes. It does take, take off the makeup but it just really stings the eyes. So I use another uh, eye makeup remover for the eyes and then just I just do this for my face. I use it as a makeup um, remover and then just as a face cleanser as well. You just have to use a tiny, tiny, tiny amount, maybe like a um, pea-sized amount. And it smells fresh and pretty neutral, nice. It's pretty expensive, I think. Hmm, I can't remember the price, but maybe around $30. Could that be about right? But it doesn't really matter because you use so little at a time. So I will have this forever. Another MUA product. It's um, the Mosaic Blush in English Rose. And I like to use it as... This is sold as a blush but I like to use this as a highlight color. It just gives a really nice highlight. You can barely see it but it looks really nice on the skin, like on your cheekbones. For like an everyday highlight this is probably my favorite and then for like going out I really like the Mary Luminizer. 
Then I have just something I grabbed from the shower, the Oriflame Soul Beauty Shave Gel with silk proteins and orchid extracts. This is also an awesome product. It's super cheap. It's cruelty free. You don't have to use much. Oh crap. There was water in it. It smells really nice, like fresh flowers. Um, yeah, it's just a really good product. It's hard to find a good shaving gel or shaving foam of some sort that is cruelty free and cheap and good at the same time. Then a few lip products. The NYX Mega Shine Lip Gloss in Beige is really nice, I think, to use over a nude lipstick or just on its own because it's really pigmented but it has a really nice everyday color. We're going towards spring so I did use this uh, e.l.f. glossy gloss um, a few times this month and I really like this color for spring. It's in wild watermelon. It's just so sticky so I don't like the formula but um, that's the one, and um, an e.l.f. Shimmery, shimmer eyeliner pencil, I think it's bold bronze, and this is such a nice color to use for a natural everyday color, it's just so pretty, um, I use it both on the top and bottom lashes and it's super cheap and it even has an own sharpener. There's also a few newer products that has become favorites of mine immediately after trying them. It's the I'm just I'm gonna talk about these in my haul video but I'm just gonna go quickly through which one I really love. It's the Bourjois Healthy Mix Foundation this one's in light vanilla. Love that one. And then the Rimmel Scandalized Waterproof Coal Kayal Eyeliner in Taupe, which is gorgeous. And the Rimmel Exact Exaggerate Full Color Lip Liner in East End Snob. And then I got the this um, Eco Tools Full Eyeshadow brush that is awesome. I love this. So I'll just check out my haul video that is coming up soon and I will talk some more about these products. Um, the last favorite that I have is a non-beauty non favorite. It's from Harney and & Sons and it's a chocolate mint tea which tastes, it tastes like um, that after eight chocolate that I love so much and this, it smells amazing as well. Yeah, you have to try it. If you like the after eight chocolate, you have to try this tea. It's amazing. I got it at iherb.com. So those were all my February favorites. I hope you like this video. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you again in my next video. Bye!